Alright guys, so first up is the top system. Um, so he, <clears throat> he wanted the Topps Kukri with the Topps Tanimboka Puko as the piggyback on it. And in addition to that, he also asked for, he wanted it to be a leather dangler. Uh, he wanted a Streamlight Micro Stream and an Exotac uh, Nano Striker XL on the sheath. So, <clears throat> so I'll give you a rundown on the sheath here before I even put the knives in. So we decided on uh, Flat Dark Earth Spring as the main sheath and Cryptech Mandrake for the attachments. Alright, so here's a good look at it. And I chose a brown leather strap for the dangler because I thought brown would go better than black with these particular colors. Uh, so giving you a good look at it here. <clears throat> we, we discussed various options as far as how to attach everything on there. And we sort of decided that we, you know, I don't want to do three piggyback systems and have them all look the exact same. I mean, it's, it's a reliable way of creating great systems over and over, but I also am passionate about the, the art of it all. So I wanted to make sure that I showed, uh, and actually he did too. He wanted, wanted me to make sure that I showed the full gamut of, of what I can do, what can be done, all of that. So we tried to just set them up a little bit differently, each one. So that that's why these are all in this uh, in this parallel line. I think it looks really nice, um, and <clears throat> the knives are actually really interesting to Kydex as well. So let's start with uh, we'll start with the Kukri, the big one. So for those of you who have Kydex, you obviously know the challenges that come with doing a knife with such a huge recurve and uh, where the handle is canted off at uh, you know almost a 45 degree angle from the blade itself or at least the spine of the blade uh, for those of you who haven't kydexed before um, this presents an incredible challenge because when you mold it the retention I mean the the kydex comes back together below this section of the blade here and when you try to draw it out the fat part of the blade here snags because the kydex is actually you know touching together so you have to come up with ways to create space in there so that it draws smoothly. Um, so I, of course, looked up other ideas. This is the first kukri I've done. And the most successful design I'd seen for other kukris was a sheath in which the spine of it was actually open. So you put the knife, the tip of the knife in first, and then you actually seat it downward, almost like a chopping motion. And the, the click in happens right there on the handle. So you click it in like so and remove it the same way. Uh, and I, I mean it's a great design, it's wonderful, but I wanted to do something unique, something different, uh, and I didn't want to just copy everybody else's successful designs. So what I did was <clears throat> I actually just folded the kydex over the flat of the spine so it goes in just like this and then I had to I had to do a little bit of creative molding to keep this space up here open uh, that way, you know, it wouldn't close and be impossible to pull out there. But it also doubles, that space doubles as the thumb ramp. So, when the knife is in there, it's got a good click. No rattle. So when the knife is in there, you can see it like so, you end up using this as the thumb ramp. Pulling it out. Alright, so that's, that's the gist of that one. It's a... Uh, I don't know if anybody else is doing that particular concept for kukris, but I think it worked out really nicely. It might have been a little bit more work in the end because, uh, you know, I had to create a lot of, uh, I had to be creative about, you know, creating that space, like I said, for the knife to actually draw out since I wasn't just coming out the top. But overall, I'm very happy with the results, and I think it created a pretty strong sheath. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so we've got, let's go over the attachments real quick, actually. So both the MicroStream and the ExoTac, I decided, you know, the best way to keep them parallel for doing a taco style sheath with no way to mount it directly to the top was to have it connected here at the bottom and just run it up and over. So the disadvantages, this is not the kind of system I would recommend if you're going to be doing a lot of, you know, really intensive things. If you're going to be taking this hiking all the time or, you know, spelunking or something you, you probably don't want this kind of setup because they are flexible up here 
and uh, you'd run a, a higher chance of actually flexing the kydex to the point of creasing it and breaking it off if that's the the sort of uh, attachments you're running that said you know t i discussed that with tim and he said for what he intends on using it for that shouldn't be an issue at all and he was pretty confident that this would work out great for him so we went with it <clears throat> all right and uh i got od green shock cord to go with the uh with the nano striker so I don't know how well it'll show up in this light, but I tried to make sure all the shock cord actually matched the sheaths pretty well. And um, even though you don't really need the shock cord on this, you know, it stays in there pretty well. Nothing is nothing is coming out. Um, it's just a nice feature to have. It holds it in there extra secure. And if for whatever reason it ever becomes loose, you know, the shock cord should retain it quite securely. All right, so moving on to the Puko sheath. So this is this is one of the most unique knives I've tried to do a sheath for. The thing about it is if you look at it, it doesn't have any kind of contour around the uh, the transition from blade to handle. It's just straight, I mean it's slightly tapered down toward the butt of the handle, but it doesn't have nearly the amount of contour that you would need to actually create a kydex click going in. So uh, unless you did something, you know, seating downward, similar to the other Kukri designs I discussed. So what I did was I just molded it and left a little bit of space. You can see the, the space I left open right here. And once I had removed the knife from the, the mold when it cooled down, I just reheated it slightly and closed it up a little more so that it would be just just slightly smaller than the actual knife. So when it goes in... It's just a little bit of a pinch or friction hold that holds the knife in there. But it holds it really securely. It's not going anywhere. It's very easy to put in. You know, you don't get the Kydex click. That's kind of a bummer, but I think it looks really nice overall. And uh, it is secure. I'll give you a little demo here. So that's not going anywhere. It hasn't come out at all. It's still in there all the way. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's really easy to remove the thumb ramp on it is you know to be honest it's a little bit more aesthetic than functional but i thought it really did look nice so i put it on there anyway and uh i guess the last thing to show on this is where we use cryptek mandrake i really wanted to do something special with these knives and uh, i decided to to put some colored seams in to match it so <clears throat> This probably won't show up too well on camera, but... Alright, so I put a coyote brown seam on the mandrake, and the base of the mandrake is desert tan, I believe. And there's an olive drab green seam in this flat dark earth spring. So you've got like a an olive drab against the darker tan, and coyote brown against a light tan. So these seams really do look super nice. Um, I'll try to roll in some pictures maybe after the video so you can really really see and appreciate the, the color scheme but uh, I'm really proud of that these these are totally seamless um, transitions here I don't know I don't want to call it a seamless seam but uh, in any event it's a, a seamless liner I guess would be the best term so oh yeah and the stamp so I got my logo now I can stamp into leather and or kydex you'll see that in all these as well so it looks really nice here on the dangler all right so that is the top system that i came up with for him and uh stay tuned you'll see the next one as well all right thanks guys